back to piano book. I'm whispering because it's very early in the morning. I'm off on a trip tomorrow, so I wanted to grab this opportunity to take you through my long and short list for the entries to the bagpipe competition details above. Thanks so much for your enthusiasm regarding this competition. I'm really looking forward to taking you through what people have come up with. So let's hit the shed. So a few days ago, Christian gave us this. Hi, welcome to The Expanse. Bagpipes, bagpipes, such elation. 29 pipers tuning up, I think they were in a train station. That kid with the lyre, he's got to go. Oh look, it's Christian, spitting fire and audio. Please excuse my terrible voice this evening. Um, monitoring on headphones uh, and I can't hear my microphone in here and I just got my braces put on the other day. So, uh, first of all, I took the sample and loaded it up here in Iris. I don't have that and so since I'm in Reaper I just use the spectral editing features that are built in. And then what I wanted to do is um, get a little bit of extra color that I could use for a more modulated signal. <laughs> First, I'm just going to walk you through how I prepped my sample content. First, we need to import a recording on Isotope RX and listen to it. I will show you how I turn this sound. Into this. As with the rest of us, I started off with this almighty row. take this obnoxious sounding uh, recording and turn it into something usable. I've also created a one minute sketch um, sci-fi piece using only the sample, which um, is linked below. Right, let's dive in. So we've had 45 entries. The quality of this competition has been so high. Indeed, what I've kind of started with is a long list. Because there's 32.57 gigabytes, I want to kind of whittle it down just a little bit and then I'll offer those out to the community to download because a lot of these pads and instruments and some drummy stuff are really, really useful. And this is how I judge it. Inventiveness, originality. Uh, you know, I do take the zeitgeist into account, but for me, the overriding thing of like, this will make my life better, easier, happier, more inspiring as a media composer. I'm gonna to get to the shortlist. One of you has the chance to win the BBC Symphony Orchestra and an Otto Bam. I've actually managed to convince Jake Jackson to buy one of these and he's totally in love with it. I've marked up the long list of stuff that I want to share with you, the stuff that most excited me, and it's quite long. I'll kind of rummage through. Good stuff, Fabian. All right, now I'm a bit of a tart for a super slow pad, so I'm gonna do that. And I think if I do these, we go through. Absolutely beautiful. Love a bit of filth there. Fantastic work though. Who's off pitch, is it Alex or Fabian? Tremolo. Will, were you the person who did the escalator animation in the Rusty Gate competition? Love your use of the word splosh for reverb. I mean, Arta, who I believe was the winner of the Rusty Gate competition. Mm -hmm. 
You're very good, Arta, aren't you? What I did have on this competition is also incredible amounts of generosity, lo loads of patches. I can't even guess how some of these were made. This is Brendan's. Stunning stuff. It says try the mod wheel. One of my kids was learning to play the bagpipes and they start on the recorder, then they move to the chanter, which is the, the actual melodic bit of the bagpipe. And some of the dads went, wait till you get the goose, which is the pumpy thing. We didn't get that far, fortunately. He's stuck with the piano. Nice. One from Julian there, Marco. Talking of kids playing bagpipes, did I mention that actually these 29 bagpipes tuning up are being played by kids from the ages of 8 to about 18? So, Marco, let's hear your stuff. Sounds very much where it came from, bagpipey. Right, on to Peter. Enjoyed this one. Brian, nice to see we've got some EXSs. probably know this but if you go save settings to instruments then whatever ADSR you have on the front panel will save to the instrument. How have you done that? It's interesting. It's just literally, a, oh, it's a velocity thing. And then Marco. Apocalyptic. Mark Olliot. Don't know how you got from a bagpipe to that. Stunning. My favourite of your sounds is this one, though. Brilliant. Frederick. Avatar of Enoe pads. Look at that GUI. Lachlan, <laughs> loving the GUI. <laughs> it's just brilliant. It's like the internet from 1997. <laughs> Mm. 
they do sound like bagpipes from space. And then we've got wall, vowels, walls. Uh, you sent me just loads, and this I think was my favourite. Oh yeah, this is this is this is crazy. This because it just it's like growing insanity. Let me play you. I mean, in a good way. Yeah, so it's quite fun. You just add them slowly in, and it just gets madder and madder. Panic Attack in contact form. Another absolutely enormous set of wonderful patches. Fantastic. And just would like to know, Andrew, is this a kind of an off-the-shelf GUI kind of engine thing, or is that something you've built? Because it's incredibly clever. It's really interesting, this one. So more of an atmosphere there, but uh, very uh, melancholic. Adrian? a symphony of an instrument. Absolutely fantastic. Our good friend Stephen Tallamy. Now you're giving me a Nice uh, visual signal to use the mod wheel, like that a lot. James Kedwards. Presuming that distortion is intentional within there. Gee, let's listen to that decay. <laughs> okay, Callum. And then Casey. Nearly there. Again, one of these ones with loads of different patches, and I think I selected that as my favourite. Let's have a listen to this. So also, Tim didn't send me some sample instruments. He sent me some sounds, which I've listened to and I liked. What I'll try and do is put them into sample instruments and put that as part of the long list of downloadable stuff that we'll release when we announce the winner. So let's move on to the shortlist. Dum -da -dum -da -dum. Everyone on the shortlist, available to download for you to try out yourself. I do have a favorite, but I'm not gonna say who it is, but this is just simply the order in which I received the files. <laughs> and then we've got Will Hawkins. Max. And Adrian. And 
David, sorry, I didn't play as part of the, the long list. You were in there somewhere, but uh, let's have a listen to this. played David's a bit longer because we didn't hear it in the long list. So, package of the shortlist download down below. I trust enough of you will download it to actually go through all of the different controls. And for example, Fabian's got a couple of different patches before making your vote in the voting panel above. If something hasn't just appeared above my finger, just click on the little I at the top of the screen. When this is basically embedded on other sites, the, the thingy doesn't uh, appear. Competition now will close midnight GMT on October the 23rd. That's the eve of the BBC SO release. And I will announce formally the winner on this channel thereafter. Hopefully at that point, we'll also have a bagpipe competition page with links to stuff to download and films for you to look at of how people made these incredible sounds. That for me is at the heart of what this is all about is investigation into how to manipulate sound and how to be inventive with sound. And I think there's a lot that I learned by watching these films and I hope you all do too. Thanks so much for everyone who took part and congratulations to both the long listers and the short listers, but well done to you all. It's just great to see this degree of inventiveness with sound. So if you haven't subscribed yet, why not? There's so much coming up and indeed you'll need to ding that bell if you want to be notified the next time I put a film up. I think a big thumbs up for everyone who's taken part here today. Thanks ever so much for watching and see you again next time.